Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm working in my collection of Curiosities book. This is days 36 and 37. Um, and my inspiration for this particular page was, and I can't remember who, someone posted a an altar or a shrine in Maker's... Um, of mixed media art and artist Facebook group. And I'm like, oh, I could do like a little altar inside my book. That's kind of a magical sort of like can be kind of thing. So I grabbed some of my jelly prints. This these ones were from my long haul um that I did quite a while ago. Um of the stencil PM Artist Studio stencil aqueous effervescence broken. And um, I had a brown one and a black one. So I'm going to have the outside doors of the altar. So this is going to open like, you know, and it's flat. So it's going to open um, like gates opening, I guess. And I'm going to have one side be the black and the other side be the brown. I think I'm going to have the brown doors on the outside because everything in my book is a little brownish and orangish and reddish. <laughs> <laughs> and ish, ish no I'm just kidding um and I wanted to do the wrap around thing I've seen Mariah do that on tags and things and I've never really done that so I decided to wrap around on these um and I've got this other gel print that will be the inside of the altar but first we've got to um we've got to make it fit so we're gonna mess around with some color. The first color I always go to is my Conacodone Nickel Hazel Gold. So we're going to add that um, to it. And I, I decided I would put it on the black side of my altar doors as well. Um, though my, um, these gel prints, they're really rough textured. And um, I think the paint was a little thin or it's a little dry here. It wasn't picking up like 100%. It was picking up bits and pieces. But it, it'll make it interesting. <laughs> All right. So I do it again. I put it out there again. Put it on. Push it down. I, this is sped up, but I didn't waste any time putting those papers down on there. But... um. Yeah, it just doesn't, it's not picking up evenly. It's so weird. All right, so we're cleaning that off. And I th think I decide to go for a more red color um, for the background page. Or for those, I can't remember. I think I do everything. So, let's see. They just look a little streaky and orange. All right. So this time I'm going to get a little heavier on the paint. I want more. <laughs> I want things juicier. So we're going to get a little heavier with the paint. And I am going to bring my background back in just to make it a deeper color. So we've got that one a deeper color. And then just... Pick up the residue with my altar doors. So now there's a little reddish to it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cut those down to fit inside my... Um... See, that's how it's going to go. <laughs> Anyways, I cut them down so they'd fit inside the book. And I decided it needed to be arched. So I'm just using my... Um painter's tape to get an archway going. And I guess I need to do that with the doors as well so that um, they'll match up, right? At least that's what I figured. Um, I 
don't know if I really pointed it out when I was um, making the doors. I think. Oh no, I do it next. I'm like I know I add a magnet to this this area. I was trying to think of when I put it on there, but next. Okay. So I've got my arches. I decided I wanted something on the front because that's pretty plain. And um, so I wanted something interesting on the front. So I just have this piece of paper. It's got brayers off. It's got paint swatches on it. It's just I picked a spot that looked kind of um, moon-like, I guess, or celestial. It's got some yellow in there. I'm trying to make sure it's nice and round. So any little odd bumps I was taking off there. Don't want a walk wonky circle. It's a little few little square spots, but that's gonna go on the center of my altar doors. Now I have to find the center of the circle so I can cut it in half. Put one on one door and one on the other. And like I said, I want to put a magnet in there. So to be frugal, I have some metal pieces. They're hardware for, I don't know what they're for. Um, but I'm going to take those and put them on the doors and then put the magnet on the back wall of the altar so that it, the doors will... Snap into place? Magnetize into place? I don't know. What do you call that? So there it is. It's like a little... It's like a lock washer thing. Um, I tested it with the magnet. It seemed to work. I'm hoping it'll work through the paper. It does. Just... Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I'm lining them up close together because I'm only going to put one magnet... On the back wall of the altar. I'm just going to stick one magnet right in the center. I picked a big one. So that it will touch both sides and hold them down. Now the trick is getting them. Getting that all together. <laughs> so I've got my. I, so how I decided to do this is. My altar has to have shelves to hold objects, right? So I'm making little pockets. So this is going to be the pocket that's going to go across the middle and line up with the doors so that the magnet will work. And I'm just putting a little patch behind there so that when I'm sticking things in and out, you know, the magnet won't get in the way. So, got that. Now we want to line everything up. So I'm lining it all up together. And then I'm going to place the magnet on there so I know where it hits. And then here I decide if I mark it with a pencil, I'll know where that piece should go across. So I'm putting it across. And yeah, I, I did ink the top edge of that um, pocket so that you can see that it's a pocket. It's because it's all the same color. And then I just did some tucks on the bottom Instead of having a shelf all the way across or a pocket all the way across. I figured the tucks would work and they coordinate with... They were leftover pieces from the door, so um, I figured that would work. So, And the good thing about the way I did it is at least there's not that negative polarity or lining up of the magnet. As long as the metal's within range, it will stick, so... And it won't push against it. 
So that was good. I do end up putting the doors a little low, but scissors fix that. <laughs> we'll just fix that with the scissors. And the paper I'm using for the hinges is um, brown. It's a brown bag that's been made to look a little bit like leather. I used it for the cover of my um, journal collaboration I did earlier in the year. Um, and I have leftovers, so I thought this would work perfectly for the doors. So it has a little bit of movement and hopefully it won't wear down too quickly. Just working that around the edge. All right, so I also want to glue it on the inside as well just to make sure that it's going to hold. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the inside. I thought about putting little fake doorknobbies on there, but I didn't think it needed it. The hard part was coming up with what to put inside. All right, so I did let that dry completely. Now we're gonna encourage it to fold again because I dried it flat. I think the magnet's holding it pretty good. And that's where I misaligned it, so we're just going to trim that off. It's a little bit sticking out there. I figured I'd just take that off, too. The bottom, it's not really noticeable, so I'm not even going to worry about that part. So now here's the page it's going on. Oh, and I decided it needed some ink. Ink around the edges. Get rid of the white. Um, earlier I used this, my new stays on it, super juicy. It was a bit messy. So I'm going back to my archival in coffee that's really dry. So I really have to rub it to get it to, yeah, I need to get some re-inker for that. little spot that didn't stick down. All right, I'm just gonna glue it in. And yes, I've made good use of all those encyclopedia pages. <laughs> in fact, I think I've decided, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, I've decided I'm gonna do like a massive gel printing session and gel print a bunch of them. Because I really like this grungy style. Like the left one. Not necessarily the one on the right. Um, yeah. Maybe put it in my Etsy store. Eventually one of these days. Alright, so. I just picked random things that were hanging out on my desk. Like a leftover rune. A little birdie. A little circle punch. Some rose petals. And a couple of dragonflies from a gel print. Most of the stencils in this book were created by PM Artist Studio. They have a, a store, they also, a website. They also have a YouTube channel and a Facebook group. And if I remember, I will put a link to... Probably their YouTube channel, that's the easiest, in the description box below. So you can check them out if you're interested. Also, 
in the description box will be the link to um, the playlist with all of my collection of curiosity videos in case you've missed any. Um, you can go there and see any of the previous ones. So I'm just outlining those dragonflies so they show up a little bit better. I decided to put dots down. I, I don't know. It's not even visible. If you don't know they're there, you don't know they're there. <laughs> okay. So now I need to do something on the other side. And I decided just to do, like, moon faces. I probably could have done this a little bit better. Um... But I just lined them up that way. I thought that was straight. Um, yeah, if you don't look too closely, it's okay. <laughs> if you look closely, it doesn't, it's not lined correctly. I think it's the curvature of the, the moons on the sides. The crescent moons. So I decided to gold leaf them with my Timu gold leaf that didn't come with any glue. So I'm using matte medium. It's not really the best choice. Matte medium is really not the best choice for this. I don't know what would have been except for to buy some of the adhesive that goes with gold leafing. Just stick those on and let them dry. And do the next one. And I'm just sponging the matte medium on there. I don't think I have enough matte medium. I think that's my problem. Maybe if it was gel, like the gel medium, a little bit thicker, maybe. folded in half on there. So I was stuffing them all in my little container, all the extra. So I did let that dry. It has been a while. Um, but I come back and look, my full moon is not a full moon anymore. Obviously, there was not enough matte medium on there. All right. <laughs> and oh, it sticks everywhere. Like, it doesn't stick where you want it to, but it sticks everywhere else. The stuff is messy. <laughs> I should have just gone with gold paint. So, I work off all the excess... I'm sure I probably need to rewatch a tutorial on how to do this. I did once a long time ago. <laughs> Trying to brush off all the excess. I'm going to try wiping it down with a baby wipe to get all the extra off. Because the whole, from my perspective sitting at the desk that whole thing is sparkle like I can't even see it straight on it looks so much better um but so I do that and then I decide I'm gonna use some gold paint we're gonna put some gold paint on that and that gold leaf is not sealed so when I paint on it it kind of comes up and it's a bit of a mess But 
but I just decide we'll gold leaf onto the paint. Except for it won't come off my hands. <laughs> and I just start pulling the little bits and pieces out of my jar of saved stuff and just smash it in there. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I think it stuck better to the paint than it did to the matte medium. The paint's a little thicker. It's a heavier body paint. All right, so I got it all on there, and now I can't get it off. <laughs> I don't make you watch, but I, um, I do this to all of it, and then I actually take some of the painter's tape and start lifting up all the flakes that are around my circles that are making them not look round. sticking in all the wrong places that stuff is so messy <laughs> uh. but you can see it's sticking everywhere even where I don't want it to be so I do take tape to it so when you see it it'll look a little bit better see it looks a little better um and then I decide we're just gonna go around this with my fun new white paint pen and give it an outline since my whole page is like sparkly now <laughs> so if you've been watching my um series. I hope you're enjoying it. What one's your favorite? Which page do you like the best? I haven't decided which one's my favorite yet. Um, they've all been fun in different ways. So I decide to draw some lines in between or diamonds in between each of the things and then some lines just to make it look you know magical I thought that's where that needed to be but that's a little too high up yeah just adding arrow up and arrow down, a few diamond shapes on circles. Look, I'm not even pulling out a ruler. <laughs> Since my lines are already crooked, I'm... <laughs> all right. I... The, all the extra sparkle is kind of driving me crazy, so I'm going in with some... Blue, I think it's ultramarine blue. And just shading. And hopefully covering some of the gold that's not where it's supposed to be. Like that piece of gold right there. Just keeping it real fluid. All that gold resists. It doesn't want to be covered up. But we're just about to the end. I hope you've liked it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I really appreciate all your comments and likes and participation. So, yeah. Another one in a few more days, I think. I'm, we're almost to the end. I think one more video. Maybe. 
anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you have an awesome day.